Hi, I'm Art Kaplan, and I'm the head of the Division of Medical Ethics at the NYU School of Medicine. The Surgeon General of the United States, Jerome Adams, recently issued an advisory suggesting that it would be wise for people who have a relative, family member, or friend who's had difficulty with opioid addiction, maybe overdosed in the past or known to be a user, to carry a kit with naloxone. This is an antidote drug that helps reverse the potential lethal effects of overdosing on opioid, fentanyl, and other addictive drugs. I don't claim to be a big expert about uh, the actual antidote. I know that it can be injected. I know that it can be inhaled. I don't know much about how to dose it. Obviously, if someone's going to get a little kit and carry it around, they're going to need some instruction online or from a physician about how to use it, but I thought the idea was a good one. Sad that the opioid epidemic has moved past HIV levels of death in the United States. Many parts of the country are just plagued by overdoses taking place basically on the hour. It's clear that emergency rooms and medical personnel are so overwhelmed by the opioid epidemic that it's breaking the budget for Medicaid and many programs in many states. It is a gigantic, sad, tragic public health problem. Police, EMT, fire departments are starting to carry these kits, and that's a good thing. I think the average citizen who has contact with people who they're concerned might be abusing drugs should do so too. There's even a precedent for this. If you're in a family where there's a bee sting allergy or you have a peanut allergy or something like that, many people are used to carrying around an EpiPen. Some children do it, some patients do it, some families do it, some friends of families do it. People who are babysitters or the school nurse may keep that around. I think that's the approach that we should be taking as the Surgeon General suggested to keeping these kits around as antidotes to the drugs. Now, there is an issue because the price of these kits has been going up. Some uh, states I know are already starting to say their budgets uh, for Medicaid are being strained. There are proposals to cut Medicaid programs in many states, which can only make it worse to try and combat this plague of drug addiction. So we do have to take a long, hard look at cost and price, just as we did, ironically, with EpiPens. The manufacturer there had been jacking up the price uh, as much as they could get because uh, there was so much demand for the uh, allergy antidotes. We can't let that happen here. If necessary, I think the government's going to have to step in and say, here's the maximum price, or we're declaring a public health emergency, and we're going to take steps to keep this antidote kit affordable. So we don't want to say, get a kit to people who either can't find one or can't afford one. As part of the approach here to save lives, you've got to make sure not that people know they should have one, but they can afford one. Sadly, the drug epidemic doesn't look like it's waning. It keeps getting worse and worse. We're going to need a better national policy than just telling everyone to carry around an antidote to opioid overdose. We really do need a push from the administration, both in terms of budget and priority that is serious, to take on this problem, just as we did years ago with HIV. But in the short run, probably the best thing we can do is make sure without stigma we get those kits out there and we train people how to use them. I'm Art Kaplan for the Division of Medical Ethics at NYU. Thanks for watching.